seven to nine years, dear juniors, could be upping their odds for dying sooner. And that's according to research. It's also say tying the knot with a younger guy could actually, it raises a woman's risk of death by 20%. And this was a study that was published in May. My name is Blessing, AKA Flourish. No Limit Show with Flourish. I am here with an expat. His name is Baba G Day Edges. Let's welcome him on stage. Hi everybody, my name is Baba G Day Edges. I'm a counselor, I'm a relationship expert, and I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to have you on set, Baba G Day. I've my been meaning, I've been meaning to have you on set because you know what, you're so loaded. Thank you. With Thank this, you. with this. So I can't <laughs> I can't wait to release all of those nuggets. All of those things that you have inside of you. Thank you. So I have a few questions for you. So right. what do you think about the studies? Um, would you advise a woman to marry a younger guy? What's your take on this and the research? Um, if I have my way, I would advise a woman to marry an older guy. Okay. Yeah, if I have my way. But everybody would not have it that way. Okay. Yeah. But why would you say that? Okay, thank you for asking me that. Because basically, women look up to men in marriage. Mm -hmm. Not in the society, not uh, at workplace. I'm talking about marriage. There's a possibility women look up to. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course, women look up to men too in society, depending. Mm -hmm. But in marriage, a man must take the lead mm -hmm. while the woman follow. Mm -hmm. So... For a woman to respect a man, mm -hmm. a man must be older. Okay. But don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. being older doesn't mean you are more mature mm. or you are worthy to lead. Okay. But basically, in our own society, mm -hmm. being an African, mm -hmm. uh, people believe that if you are going to lead, you must be older as a man. That a woman won't actually respect you mm -hmm. if you are a younger guy. Right. But the whole thing is changing, though. But basically, okay. if I have my way, I would advise a woman to marry an older guy. Okay. Yeah. So, what what do you think is changing? Um, yeah. Why do you think that is changing? Okay, basically because um, during our father's time, mm -hmm. age is a big deal because mm -hmm. they were operating with this um, mentality of the older the better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, you see a man of 28 marrying a girl of 20, 21, 20, mm -hmm. because they believe you should be ahead. Mm -hmm. And age then was a determinant of how ahead people can go. Right. Uh, how far people have gone. I mean, mm -hmm. they believe a 30-year-old man then should have achieved this, achieved that. And a woman is just looking up to mm -hmm. that man at that point in time. Right. And come to think of it again, women weren't um, privileged then to mm -hmm. be that educated right. or socially acceptable then, so mm -hmm. they always look out, um, look up to a man then. But now mm -hmm. it's changing. Right. Girl child is getting educated every right. day, everywhere. Right. Women are, are breaking the glass ceiling, achieve the unachievable, you know, mm -hmm. doing big things like men. Right. So it's not about the age anymore, it's right. about your worthiness now. Mm. You mm -hmm. get me? Right. It's not about the age. You, you still, we still see forty, full at forty now. Mm -hmm. A man at forty that is still behaving like a twenty-year-old guy. That is very true. And we still, we see twenty-five-year-old guy now living up to his. That is very so true. So it, it's age is no more the determinant now. Right. Yeah. Baba Jide, um, I read something that says that the reason why women are now going for younger guys is because. Men their age already settled, okay. married. Do you think that that is the reason? Absolutely. Or One of the major reasons, the, actually. Okay. Yeah. And then secondly, these women are financially stable. So they're not looking for men that will come into their life and support them financially. So they're okay if the men come into their life and, you know, try to fill other part of their lives you know what I mean yeah so what do you think about that do you think that's the reason or why do you think women are going for younger men well like you said I, I think that's one of the major reasons um, women are 
Okay, now let me let me let me use thirty for example now, or let me say thirty five, thirty six, mm-hmm. thirty seven, thirty eight, or like to forty or forty plus. Most women, you you know, I I partially run a matchmaking um, platform, okay, and I I discovered so we that could, we could come and find husbands. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, that you, you know, most women that have um, over thirty to forty, the the men that are at their age group, they don't want that kind of women. They want younger women. I agree. Men always want younger women mm. because they believe that okay, you are still, you are more feminine. The younger you are, the more feminine you, you are. are. Yeah. The more submissive you are. But they don't know we're still. The the we still got a curves. You know what I mean? The the believe well, they believe that the younger you are as a woman, mm-hmm. your fertility is still very much in the prime. True. True. These are things African men consider. Right. Right. Yeah, so they go for the younger ones, mm. and women at that age. And if we are keeping it real, mm-hmm. women while they are still in their very sexual potent phase, mm-hmm. I mean, where they are in their twenties, where men are coming, the mm-hmm. season, the hot season, they don't date their mates too. They rather go for older guys, mm. working class guys. Uh, right. You know, this where you're schooling, where you're in the university, they right. rather go for men that are way older right they won't date their because they feel like they will treat them better, better. It, it, it's it's just the law of nature mm. women they, they call this thing um um what do they call it again hypergamy mm. they believe women should go for women believe they should go for a man they can see as a leader a man that can take care of them mm. that can lead yeah because right. normally for a woman to be submissive to you right as a man right she must see you body of it right so right. women are inclined that they are driven towards men like that mm-hmm. so men on the other hand they believe like oh i i want the young i want the primer the, mm-hmm. w- the woman that's still in that that are feminine face mm-hmm. so they go for younger women mm-hmm. so women in their 30s now late 30s 40s that have never been lucky with love mm-hmm. and commitment mm-hmm. they are they are they are they are left with the few um older men Mm. And guess what? Those few ones are not even worthy. But let mm. me say, few, just my tiny percentage of them are worthy. Mm. So they just settle for the younger guys. They look for the maturity in the younger mm-hmm. guys mm-hmm. and settle for that. But do you think that's advisable um, based on the maturity? Because I feel like women are more mature than men. Yeah. You see a woman, yeah. a man, a woman that is, let's just assume in her 30s, and then a man also in, a, in his 30s is not thinking. I don't know if he's thinking about settling down or... It's scientifically mm-hmm. backed up that women mature faster emotionally than men. Right. So... Economically, we are using Nigeria as a, as a case study. Mm-hmm. Economically, a guy, a 25-year-old guy is still trying to sort his life. Exactly. Unless he's doing some illegal stuff. Right. He's still trying to sort his life. A woman at 25, she's already probably through with school and already thinking about marriage yeah yeah so as i was saying um women grow faster than uh, men Mm -hmm. they they get more mature Mm. than men Mm. for example now look at a 25 year old guy still trying to sort um, sort himself economically Mm -hmm. a woman at that point in time might probably still be sorting herself off but because she's a woman she can still be financially there i Mm. mean average right and get married to a man that is doing better than her. Right. But a man cannot risk that. A 25 year old guy won't be able to risk that. Right. Is it that he's looking for a lady is richer than? Because it will mm-hmm. be the man of the house. Right. Or a lady that is ready right. to support him financially. Mm-hmm. So, apart from the maturity, mm-hmm. the economic side of it too mm-hmm. doesn't make it easy right. for the guys. So, do you think more younger guys? Do you think the reason why younger guys are going for older women is because of the financial stability? Yes, a- a- absolutely. Or? I think that's like the 65, 70% reason why younger guys are going for older women. Mm. Go, go check it. The statistics are there. Men will not come for you if you're older than them and you don't have your back correct. Right. So what are they coming from? Beauty. They mm. could get that with the younger girl. So what happens when the money is no longer there? Do you think the marriage will still stand? 
or such relationship will still stand? I don't want to say what if the money is no longer there tomorrow. That's why you should plan. But let's say the money is no longer there tomorrow. That, let me tell you something. A relationship shouldn't stay in a spot. It should evolve. True. If you meet someone now because the body is right and you're like, oh, wow, look at that body. Mm -hmm. You must not stick to that because mm -hmm. that is the surface. That's right. the icing on the cake. Right. You must get to the cake. Right. Do you like this person? Do you like the personality of this person? Mm -hmm. The temperament of this person? Can mm -hmm. you do? Mm -hmm. Are you guys friends? What is their kindness towards people, the less privileged? Mm -hmm. How do they handle things, you right. know, their um, conflict resolution skill? You know, basic things that make things go. Mm -hmm. But you are not staying on the body. At some point, you will get exhausted because right. you will look at other bodies too and you're like, oh, I want that body now. I don't right. want this anymore. Yeah. Because so, you, you meet final So, so if, you're, if, you're, if you're with a woman because of the financial support, mm -hmm. you shouldn't get stuck on that. Mm. There's no sin looking for support financially in this part of the world. Right. But that shouldn't be the reason mm -hmm. you are getting married to them. Date mm -hmm. this person. Mm -hmm. Look at this person's worthiness. Can mm -hmm. we build? Mm -hmm. Are we friends? Mm -hmm. You know, that's when. But if you go for just the money, mm -hmm. when the money is no more flowing, mm -hmm. you will go to the next victim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are, what are the chances of such relationships working out? What are the chances of a, a, an older woman versus a, another woman dating a younger woman, a man? Chances, what are the chances of I, this I, relationship I know people in this um, situation. Okay. I know people, an uh, older, uh, older woman dating a younger guy. Mm. The woman is 43, the guy is 39. I know one, um, the, the lady is, the woman is 43 presently, mm -hmm. the man is 40. Okay. And they are good. That's not bad. The, fr the first mm -hmm. one, they've been married for like, um, excuse me, they've been married for like um, five years. The second one, they've been married for close to 19 years. Oh, wow. And you can't even know. You, there's no way for you to know unless they tell you. Right. Because right. the woman still look right. She's taking care of herself. herself. Right, right. So I guess now my question would be, how much younger should a woman go for if she's going for a younger guy to be very realistic i think five five anything above five is on is on settling mm. Mm. yeah five is five is fair and just five years difference because five difference five years difference mm -hmm. shows that you guys are still within the same social phase mm. you're still peers you can right. still reason the same way you can still feel the same way right yeah what appeals to you as a man can still appeal to the woman Mm. But when you are going above that, it, it, it becomes kind of unsettling. You are unsettling the balance. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what do you think those women should look out for when going for a younger guy or younger guys? Uh, what are the things they should look out for? Yeah. What do you think they should say? The or what 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 do you think they should look out for? Basically. Okay. I like I always tell people. The responsibility of this kind of combination lies majorly on the woman. Mm, okay. Lies majorly on the woman, and I will tell you why. As a woman, it's not about the momentary feeling of I like this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's available. It's showing that he likes me too. I want to get together with him. The most important thing is. Do you find him worthy of your submission? I don't want to use the word submission mm. because of the social consciousness we have out there. Oh, why mm. should I submit and all that? Mm -hmm. But if we are being realistic when it comes to marriage, mm -hmm. a woman must be able to honor a man. Right, right. I agree. Be because you can't even be a wife in the true essence of the wife without finding this man honorable in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you must consider your own maturity as a woman. Mm -hmm. Can I handle this? Do I see him worthy of my respect? Mm -hmm. Do I find him worthy of my submission? Can I listen to him? Mm. In his area of expertise, will I allow him to lead me here? 
Will there ever be a time I would tell him that, oh, God, shut up, I'm older than you? It, mm. it, it, because there's some things you will say to a man, there's no coming back from that. I but, agree. Yeah. So Because you crush his ego. Yes, exactly. So you should be able to answer yourself. Because if a man feels honored in his space, he will stay there. I agree. Yeah, that's it. That's what the most important what thing. What if the man is not there to lead the woman? He's just a he's passive use, person. He's useless. You can be passive and still lead. Leadership is not about being aggressive or, oh, mm. sit down there, oh, shake it for daddy. Or, nah, that's not, that's not what's lead. Leadership is your quality of decision. The quality of your Are decision you making, rather. Make decision, yes. Yeah, for the family. For the family. For the best interest of your wife, your child, the way you, you deal with your family. Mm. You know, that's why friendship is very important. Mm. But this generation, people don't want to be friends anymore. Mm. People just want to come into your life, and the next thing they want to be in your pants. The next thing they want to spend the money. They want to experiment so many. They want to be in a relationship and be married in a relationship. Mm. Friendship is where you will establish mm. what are we doing? What is the quality of this guy's life? Can I be with somebody like this? Mm -hmm. Watching him, how he deals with other people, the less privileged people that is his friend, his family, mm. will tell you if he's worthy of your headship. Even the way he speaks to you, the way he addresses exactly. you. Exactly. That's all the. You know, so many things people don't need to enter into a relationship to find them out. Mm. But yep. people are so impatient these days, they want a relationship like now, now. That's why yeah. you see a guy ask you out today. The and if you are not budging, the next one week or two weeks, somebody else he's is off. He's off. Yeah. Asking another woman, you said, I'm not, I don't have time. Mm. But the point is, if you want to build something long lasting, mm. there's a phase of friendship that should precede relationship or courtship. Hmm. Okay. So, how long should people date before they can now say we're in a relationship or before they can be committed to each other do you mean how long should people sh sh uh, be, friends be friends before they commit before yes I, I think it's um it depends on the individuals involved okay I, I believe if you're smart enough to know that we should be friends before dating mm -hmm. we should be friends before being in a committed relationship you should know when you have tested the water properly so i mean i've, I've met people where that are not willing to to be friends to be friends they just want to date oh i like you i want to be in a relationship and the next thing they're talking about sex and i love you so much i want to be in a relationship i don't have time yeah as a woman you're looking out for yourself isn't that a red flag though i won't say it's a red flag oh it's not okay yeah i won't say it's a red flag okay but it's a red flag as well Okay, let me break that down. Okay. Depending on who is asking and the person the person is asking. If I'm mm. telling you as a woman that, if I'm a woman, I'm telling you as a guy that I want us to be friends, I want to get to know you, and you're like, no, I just want to go into the relationship, and mm -hmm. you're in the relationship, and you're asking me for sex, and you know this doesn't look good for me. Right. I'm not my own, my own. Um, you're not comfortable with Yes, yeah. what I stand for is not align with what you are asking me the then it's the red flag mm. but if you two believe in risking it all uh, uh, it's not a red flag to you both because, because both of you are you believe in risk on it. yeah because yeah. it's a risk I'm right not, i don't know you enough i'm giving you sex because i had a situation where the woman is not okay with the woman is saying let's be friends then it's a red and flag get to at know that point each other. then the man is pushing no i don't want a friend they, they are, i can't be i'm not patient for they that they are not meant for each other there are women you will tell to they want us to have sex after okay after the date it. after their first date and they're okay with it we are not talking about those ones right we're talking about a woman that wants a diligent process mm. that will mm. lead to committed relationship then mm. it's a red flag if a man is persuasive rushing you that mm. oh let's have sex mm -hmm. because there's actually a it means both of your beliefs does are not different align. yeah yeah you're not on the same page, page. yeah Oh, wow. So the duration it, it, it strongly it majorly depends on the individual involved. Involved. Yeah, mm -hmm. because at some point you will look at it like, okay, I, I've known him to a reasonable. You use your discretion. Right. Yeah. And believe me, your instinct will always tell. As a you, woman, if you are not yeah. operating from a place of emotion, like, right. oh, I can't wait to flaunt him. Yeah. I can't wait to 
enjoy companionship. Right. If you are putting your emotion aside, which is hard for every woman. Oh, yes. Because you guys are being of emotion. Right. So if you can separate your emotion from the diligence of knowing this person, mm. you would do well as a woman. Mm. Wow. You've heard it from the expert himself. I told you. <laughs> well you've heard it all i mean i don't even know what to add and what to take out of it because i mean as a woman just like he said especially an older woman trying to date a younger guy make sure you do your due diligence to to know what this person is be friends with this person don't rush into it because i mean nine out of ten times from you know what i saw in research a man is coming a younger man is coming to an older woman just because she's financially stable that's the truth. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if both of you are okay with it. However, ensure that the person is not only coming to you for your money or for what you have. Yeah. They also love you and they're there to stick with you and be the head of the family. Yes, it is so hard sometimes, a lot of times, for women to submit to a younger guy. But again, it is not so hard. That is if you make up your mind to do it. It's all about the heart. It's all about... Um, what you have up there it's all about your decision it's all up to you what you're ready to compromise to and what you're willing to take and what you're not willing to take absolutely know who you are as a woman know you who you are as a person before deciding on who to settle with because at the end of the day you as a woman um, would decide who you want to spend the rest of your life with and ensure that you make the best decision for yourself because if you go there this long make sure you make it right Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Until next time, ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also follow um, my friend um, Baba G Day and his um, handle is going to be on the screen. And also follow me, your girl Flourish. Also leave a comment, tell me what you think about today's episode. Thank you for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.